What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Steam Runner here, and today I'm giving you guys my first impressions of the Treyu's carbon plated running shoe, The Artist. So there we go, 14 miles complete in Atreyu's new carbon plated racer, The Artist. We have certainly painted this thing. It was a beautiful white blank canvas. It has now been painted with nature's beauty mud. It was absolutely vile out there. Torrential rain at points, very muddy, puddly, even on the pavements. It was just absolutely crazy. Today, I am delighted to have gone through the gears in this shoe, put it through a range of paces, and are uh, excited to feedback my thoughts on this thing to you guys for my first impressions. But as always, we'll start with the technical overview. So if you're excited for today's video, guys, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and we will kickstart with the tech. So we'll start off by saying this shoe has a 30mm stack height of midsole foam in the heel and 24mm stack height of midsole foam in the forefoot, meaning we have a 6mm heel to toe drop. However, there is a 5mm sock liner in there, so that does bump things up a little bit higher. In my UK size 13, I did indeed go true to size, so men's US 14, UK 13, it comes in at 9.7 ounces or 276 grams. So what we'll do is we'll work away from the heel counter area, round to the ankle collar, tongue lacing upper midsole, and then move on to the outsole. And this is gonna be one of the most easiest technical overviews to do because it is such a simplistic shoe, but it's a great shoe. I really, really did enjoy it, but we'll come on to that very shortly. So the upper on this shoe, is exactly the same as the base model. If you run in the base model, you'll know what you're gonna get with this upper. It is a fantastic upper. For me, they say on their website, it hugs to your foot and it melts away. I do agree, it feels great on foot. For me, with a wider foot, it just fits beautifully. Um, for, for those of you with narrower feet, I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts in the comments below. But for me, in terms of the upper, it's absolutely fantastic. And that literally is all the way around the top. There's some TPU overlay, which helps give a little bit of, st not stability, but a little bit of something extra around the lacing area, a little bit of something around the back here, just to allow you to really get some good tension on the laces. But on the whole, this upper is absolutely as light as a feather. It, there's, there's just nothing to it. It really is as simple as it comes. And again, I was able to get a really solid lockdown, really happy with it. And that's about it for the upper. We have a pull tab at the back here. We've got the bumper padding, which goes around uh, the top here that sits under the ankle bone area, which is perfect again, just like the base model. And that really is about it, other than the fact that I have got this stuff really, or this thing really, really muddy. Moving on to the midsole, it's a new supercritical EVA. So in their base model, they used a more standard EVA foam. This is supercritical. Uh, it was great to watch their Instagram stories doing a little test of the normal EVA compared to the super critical. They put like a tube on top of the midsole and then they dropped a ball down this tube and they see how far it bounced back up. And with the super critical EVA, it bounced back up probably like double the height of the original one. So it was great to see they're exploring new uh, midsole technologies already. And that combined with the carbon fiber plate gives it a super comfortable, and I've got to be honest with you, a rather stable ride. I mean, for a lot of these carbon plated shoes, there is often questions of instability, depending on how soft or how firm the foam is. If it's a softer foam, some of the New Balance foams are maybe guilty, shall I say, of providing sort of a little bit of instability. For me, the only one I've tried in that range is the Fuel Cell TC, and that at paces, certain paces can feel a little bit unstable, but I never found that with this shoe. And I went through the gears, which we'll talk about shortly. So it's a perfect combination, again, of sort of softness and firmness. It just sits in that sweet spot nicely with the carbon fiber plate. 
It was brilliant. And considering it was such a wet, wet day, this one millimeter rubber outsole provided some fantastic traction. I was really concerned out there with the um, amount of water and the slick pavements, but no, it just gripped really, really well. This stuff is so grippy. There's some really good traction on the bottom of it. And again, I was just really, really impressed overall with how the thing performed. Obviously, we have a little cutout here with their logo, their emblem. But other than that, the one millimeter rubber outsole covers the whole shoe. And that pretty much is that. So on to my first impressions. How did this shoe perform? Now, let me just explain the run so I can give you an idea as to what was going through my mind when I was testing it. So in previous marathon training blocks, what we've done on some of the runs and some of the longer runs is to try and split a moderate pace uh, for the whole average of the run. And what that meant is I start a little bit slower the moderate for the first half and finish a little bit quicker the moderate. And the overall average was gonna be around that moderate pace. So for me, that was gonna be around 6.40 per mile. What I found though is when I was running a little bit slower the moderate pace is that I really wanted to run a lot faster the moderate pace. So certainly, obviously, it's a racing shoe. It's certainly not geared up for that sort of pace. So I was really excited and getting rather impatient for those first seven miles to pass so that I could turn around because I did an out and back and uh, and fly back the other way going a little bit quicker and I ended up going a little bit too quick on the way back uh, sort of in the six late 16s 620s a couple of 630s at some of the hills but to be honest with you it just felt really natural I felt like really comfortable moving in this shoe and then what I decided to do is I just had a couple of miles to finish off on our industrial estate at the end I try and avoid that this summer but I thought it'd be a great place just to put a couple of fast miles in and we split a couple of 559s or six flats whatever it came up on Strava and uh, wow it really started to come into its own so I literally went through the gears and then I finished on an uphill mile finishing in like 621 or something like that so overall it was a really solid run in this shoe and I just kind of as I said wanted to give it a good all-round test now for those of you who have watched my previous videos on the base model you'll know how much I loved it it made me feel like a kid again it was just sort of such a raw and simplistic shoe it gave me that excitement when I was running it was the lightest shoe I've ever tested interestingly this isn't as light as I thought it would be in my size I have lighter carbon plated shoes my next percent version one is lighter I think even the version two is lighter as well so I do have some lighter shoes than this it comes in 276 grams or 9.7 ounces so yeah in fact the endorphin speeds are only 1.1 uh, of an ounce heavier than this thing I think it was 282 grams, so about six or eight grams difference. So it is a little bit heavier. And again, it's probably going to be one of those shoes that as it extrapolates up in size, so the weight gains momentously towards the bigger sizes. But overall, I didn't really notice it that much. It did feel a really light and airy shoe to run with. There are a couple of things that I, uh, obvious things to state, uh, and that is cornering is a bit of a challenge in this shoe. So I did go around a couple of 90 degree corners. I had to take them a bit, bit of a wide berth. As you can imagine, with this upper, it is such a great upper, but it doesn't provide any sort of real support I found when you are cornering. This will be a great running shoe for if you're doing a lot of straight lines, doing a lot of repetitions, and also you're doing races that, are, that have some gentler corners, shall we say. So that was one thing. And to be honest with you, the other thing was it did hold on to the water quite a bit. Like I, I found in some other shoes that the, the water has seeped out of them a lot quicker than today. Now today was torrential rain. It was a little bit of an exception and I was running through some puddles, but I have found that some shoes dry out a bit quicker than this. This really has held on to the water and it still is now absolutely saturated. But really minor gripes, to be honest with you. I mean, I really can't grumble at what this thing is. I think um, from my perspective, it's gonna be a really solid training shoe and it's gonna be a really solid longer distance racing shoe. They say on their website that it, it provides comfort throughout the miles, I can agree. I felt comfort from the second I stepped in this to the second that I finished. One thing I noticed when I tested the base model is that the midsole foam broke in around two miles. The first couple of miles were really rock solid and rigid. And I thought, oh my goodness, what's this all about? And then bam, the first, literally the second or third mile, it completely softened up and went to putty and went beautiful underfoot. This thing, I didn't have that. It literally went straight in to feeling great from the first step. So I felt like I could really go through the gears in the shoe and that was a really positive thing. Sometimes some shoes just don't really work at that pace. This thing really did work at that pace and I'm super excited to end up putting more miles in this shoe. 
So there we go, those are my first impressions of the Atreyu Artist. Plenty more miles to come though, plenty more uh, miles to test this shoe out, go through the gears even more, put some faster miles in them, see how they feel. I really wanna start testing them around half marathon pace, which is the next block of training we're gonna be going into. So there'll certainly be some more miles in this thing around that pace range, and just to see how it feels. For me, obviously testing the paces today, we worked our way down to around marathon pace, and it felt really, really good at, at that marathon pace. Um, and there's gonna be plenty more opportunities to run at that pace, but I wanna test it faster now. There's more scope for this shoe, and I wanna see how it can handle those faster paces if it feels comfortable at marathon pace, but doesn't like to go faster, or if it feels a little bit too much on foot, or if it feels really good and just works with me. I have a feeling it's gonna work with me very, very nicely, but we'll see. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel for find out more. And of course, I'm a bit late to the party with this review. I said it's a new shoe. I have been sat on this for about two or three weeks. Let me know in the comments below if you grabbed a peg, so I know so many of you had, and let me know how you're using the shoe. Let me know how many miles you've put in, where you're finding its sweet spot, and have you even raced in it yet? I'd love to hear if you have actually raced in this shoe and how you found it. I think this is gonna be something that holds up really well. They said the Supercritical EVA is gonna be durable. Obviously their base model, they anticipated around 150 to 250 miles per shoe, and I get that the EVA does compress and flatten out rather quickly. I kind of have a feeling that this EVA is gonna last a lot, lot longer. It is certainly nice and cushioned, but it just it feels a lot it feels a lot denser and it feels like it's gonna have a little, little bit more life left in it. So again, if any of you have ramped up the mileage in it already, let me know in the comments below. It'd be great to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much again for your patience. I know a few of you have been asking for this. We finally got out and tested it, and it's been such fun to do. Can't wait to test more on it. And that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Until then.